member uh, Bella Dinzar, that's B-E-L-L-A, D-I-N-H hyphen Z-A-R-R. Member of the National Transportation Safety Board. Uh, we'll provide a little information about the NTSB's launch to the accident in, uh, in Washington State, and then we'll take your questions. Down, please. Down, front. Down please. Hello, I am Bella Dinzar, board member of the National Transportation Safety Board. The NTSB is launching a GO team to DuPont, Washington go. to investigate the derailment of Amtrak train number 501, which occurred this morning. Before I continue, we'd like to all express our deepest condolences to the family and friends and all of those affected by this tragic accident. The NTSB team will be led by Ted Turpin, who will serve as investigator in charge. He's accompanied by NTSB staff with expertise in the following areas, operations, mechanical, track, signals, human performance, and survival factors. Also accompanying the team are members of the NTSB's Office of Transportation Disaster Assistance, or TDA, and the Office of Media Relations. This accident meets the criteria of the Rail Passenger Disaster Family Assistance Act. Our TDA specialists are already working closely with officials at the, at the scene locally, as well as with Amtrak to assist them in their efforts to support all of those who have been affected by this accident. Several of our investigators on the West Coast will be arriving on scene this afternoon. The rest of our GO team expects to arrive at the scene late tonight. For the latest information on media briefings, I encourage you to follow us on Twitter at NTSB underscore newsroom, and our website is ntsb.gov. Again, we are just launching our GO team, and we will have more information after we arrive on scene and start the investigation. We'll be holding a number of media briefings at the scene over the next few days in Washington State. Now, I'd be happy to take a few questions, and if you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand, and I will recognize you and then please identify yourself and your media outlet. Thank you. Yes. Jeffrey Cook from ABC News. Do we need this accident to be speed related? Do we know what speed the train was traveling at? Is the speed limit in the area or the speed limit changed recently? It's a little bit too early to know. Right now we're sending investigators onto the scene, so we'll find all of that. We want to give you as accurate information as possible. Yes. Hurricane Powers of the Washington Post. Do you have an updated number on the number of fatalities? So you've probably heard a lot of different numbers reported by different news outlets, and we leave that to the local authorities to report, and that varies according to the jurisdiction. Yes, in the back. And as far as the CES, uh, what can you tell us about the train itself? I mean, it was a newer train, I know it was a newer route. Also, was there any crash avoidance technology on this train? It, we actually, at this moment, we don't know because we don't have an investigator on scene, but they are headed there as we speak. And, and there's been no information that's been given to you guys even we are looking at that because we want to make sure we get the right information. There's a lot of different information. We don't want to speculate on that. Yes? Ashraf uh, Khalil with DAP. I've seen conflicting reports on that the, 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 the tr this was like a brand new track or a new route that was being run. Uh, can you clarify some of that? The, the, the nature of the track of the train? Was this a new route or a newly refurbished route? Or there was some aspect of that that I wanted to clear up. So the question is, uh, is this a, uh, was this a new route? Has there been any uh, information about whether the, the track was new? Um, and uh, so we are aware of the fact that this was called an inaugura inaugural run of this, uh, this service, but uh, we want to check and make sure what that exactly means and uh, find out more information about that specifically. Uh, yes. Dave Shepard's of Reuters. Uh, do you know if the, the conductor or any of the other train personnel have been interviewed or what the status is? Uh, the question is, have any of the um, trained personnel been interviewed? And uh, uh, that is what we would be doing as soon as our investigator uh, gets on scene. And our investigator in charge is actually en route right now as we speak. Last question. Alexander Ling on Star. The Amtrak website says that this train en route used technology that allow the train not to have to speed down during curves, and it uses gravity instead to, I guess, for that to be able to happen. Is that new or different technology that isn't already in place or in use in other Amtrak routes? Uh, 
the question is, what kind of technology, is there any kind of new technology that is being used on this track? And um, that's why we've launched a full Go team with all the different types of experts. Uh, we're gathering information, and we will do our best to pass it on to you as soon as we find out exactly what type of technology and what, um, you know, what that type of technology that you're speaking about, if it actually is on that, that route. Do you know Thank you. Was in place? No? Yes, ma'am. 